Hey everyone, welcome to an episode of the Elixir Foundation series. So in the previous episode, we wrote the status checker for our page. Basically, what it does is it monitors um, you know, the, all the requests that are being made from our page once it's loaded, all the Ajax calls and the fetch calls that are being made, the asynchronous calls. And then we're checking the status to see if everything um, you know, has been received. And then so what we, need, we wrote in the previous episode was that uh, we wrote the status checker for this process of rendering the page. Uh, so, you know, if our page is downloading any kind of CSS, JavaScript, images, or whatever, it's gonna track all the network calls for that, and then basically it's gonna match it up, um, you know, with, in our status checker, and then basically everything um, will kind of like be, yeah, just work. Uh, so, basically, once the, the whole rendering process is completed, um, our status checker is gonna send a message back to our engine and say, hey, Everything's completed and valid. Um, so yeah, we're good. Uh, and then basically we can do the, something with that information on our render engine. Um, so, and in, if something is amiss, something is just completed and not valid, we have to handle that in some kind of way. So basically what we need to implement in our um, current uh, gen server is, you know, we need to uh, handle the info coming from our status. So basically it's gonna send completed and valid as a message or completed. So we need to um, write our handle info. So def handle info. Uh, and then basically, let me just close the terminal for now because we don't need it. And then we're gonna do completed and valid state. Do So basically here I'm gonna do a no reply state. So we'll actually do something in here, right? Um, you know, we will actually, you know, do something. But uh, essentially what we're gonna do in this case is that we are going to um, output the list, you know, the, the response, uh, the request and response list, right? So I'm gonna do a uh, request, equals agent.get. We're just gonna write this for now. Uh, we'll clean this up later. State.request, fn state, state end. Responses equals agent.get, state.responses, fn state, state end. All right, so we're gonna do io.inspect request, uh, io.inspect responses. So we also need to um, handle the handle info for completed. So in case there's a 500 error, um, you know, we do check for 500 errors. Um, yeah, so we need to handle, you know, if it's just completed and not valid. So def handle info, completed, state, do. And then here we're going to do um, just no reply state for now. Um, because, you know, in this case, the page is very simple, so chances are everything will work out just fine. We're probably not going to have any 500 errors, um, you know, in this case. So, yeah, now we're going to actually run our, um, you know, our gen server, uh, our render engine, and actually see, you know, the whole thing working together. The, the render engine uh, starting the status checker and then the status checker running a check uh, so we just check the code over here. So we wrote a schedule check private function um, that basically schedules a check uh, after every 500 milliseconds. So what I am going to do is I need to add um, schedule check on init. So once it initializes, it's going to check um, to make sure that everything, uh, whether it's complete or not. If it's not completed, it'll reach, it'll schedule itself to check again after 500 milliseconds. So yeah. That should be good. All right, so uh, let's start our render engine and see what happens. So bodyful dot render dot engine dot start link https dot artellectual dot com. All right, so you can see that it output the two list of request. Uh, and responses, so it, you know, return a three or four, which is not modified, which means some caching is going on uh, in our gen server. So I can run it again, um, and we can see that you know there is some caching going on. So everything is happening pretty quickly. 
Um, so yeah, you know, it's, it's checked um, to see if you know the requests had all been made, and uh, you know everything is working, and it would send us a message back to the render uh, to the render engine to say that yo everything is good. Uh, you can proceed, you can cache the page, or you can serve it to the customer or, or do both uh, or, or whatever. Um, so yeah, so basically that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. This is a free episode, so you know if you are wondering where all this is coming from, how did I even write the status checker? That's in the previous episode, that's a member exclusive episode. Uh, it's only $9 a month to become a member and you're supporting everything that we're doing here. Uh, also we have a forum that you can ask questions. Uh, and the, the form is free, like so. Even if you are just a free uh, s a user who signs up, you can access the form and you can ask questions and get help, uh, and you know, and do all kinds of stuff. So we have a, a really cool feature in our forum. Uh, you, so you can you know ask questions, you can request content, uh, or you can give us feedback, or you can give us testimonial, uh, or whatever it is. You, you, you know, just pour your heart out, say whatever you need to say. Uh, and we're always happy to listen, happy to help, ha happy to answer any questions you have. Um, and so, yeah, without any further ado, I'm going to wrap up this episode. And uh, so I will see you guys and girls uh, in the next episode. Yeah.